<clears throat> hey, hi, didn't see you there. My name is Nicholas and welcome to this mini update of my living room. Okay, so currently as you can see, things are still a little bit messy, right? But I'm, I'm working on that. This right here, this is the all new Gintel Devano SB. It's more like a sofa massage chair, so it's pretty cool so far. Anyway, today I just want to give you a quick update on my new TV here. Roughly around a thousand USD. Okay, so pretty good setup. This is the all new, actually it's not all new, like, I mean we're 2018 already. This is the 2017 version Sony Bravia. I'm not very sure of the model number. I will leave it down in the description box below because for a fact, I know the model number is too long. Okay, so what's good about this TV here is that it supports 4K HDR. Wow. So images on it look super amazing, very very stunning. Um, quick thing to note that the TV is not an Android TV, unfortunately. I really hope it was, but you have a couple of applications on it. So take a look here at the TV remote control. This is, they do have YouTube and Netflix on it. So if you want to cast any videos from YouTube, right away to your big screen, you can do that. But what I would suggest would be a better idea is that if you actually purchase the Mi Box. So this is the Mi Box that I have. This is the third generation and it supports up to 4K streaming, which is for all you movie lovers out there, this is good stuff. Um, yeah, let's just turn on the TV. Why not, right? Um, in the meantime, I just want to talk about the hi-fi speakers that I have here. This is by Sony as well. So if you have a Sony TV, might as well go with a hi-fi that is by Sony, right? So this has a 5.1 channel, 600 watts. Um, it includes a HDMI cable, and of course, it supports Bluetooth and NFC. Um, but what I would suggest is that if you stream your Spotify, as you can see right here, through the Mi Box instead of using Bluetooth, because as we all know, Bluetooth does use up batteries, and I mean, even my S8 doesn't really hold up that well currently. So yeah, um, it's pretty good as for the music. Check it out. The bass is pretty strong and actually supposedly the tall boys I was supposed to place right beside my sofa. Uh, this is, these are some new furniture from Ikea, but as you can see, there isn't, there isn't really much space. But for 5.1, it's such a pity that, I mean, you could have like sound surround and things. It should be pretty cool. And personally, I think this is very much a budget build if you, if you're actually tight on cash. Because, I mean, for a TV this big, this is 55 inch, it's about 3,000 ringgit, which is, I have to say, 4K at 3,000 ringgit is pretty good. Um, this thing goes along with it as well. This is $1,000 actually I would say pretty reasonable right and the Mi Box is around 300 ringgit which is eh, I mean if you've already spent this much just go ahead with the Mi Box um, I've made a few arrangements with my drums all right it's now in the living room um, and also if you notice there is a blank spot over here and my Lenovo laptop is gone so I expect something big to be here soon Probably next week. I'm actually very excited for that product. So, thank you all so much for watching today's video. My name is Nicholas, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.